guys welcome back to my channel thank you again for joining me for another video if this is your first time welcome to glam tam i hope you guys enjoy and i hope you guys subscribe to my channel right yeah so today's video i'm just gonna be sharing with you guys a little bit of tips and i'm just gonna be talking really quick about how i treat my color treated hair or my bleached hair because as you can see my hair is blonde i have always been well not always i've been blonde for a good six years or so and as you can see i just got my hair colored yesterday so i'm feeling fresh you know i'm feeling brand new the blonde pieces are where she used bleach and like the brown pieces are like the color because i get highlights the highlights are the blonde pieces and like the darker pieces are like the low lights and i also get like the color back here so it's blonde on the top blonder on the top and then darker on the bottom people ask me all the time how do you keep your hair so healthy your hair is so healthy for it to be you know color treated i know a lot of people get their hair colored and their hair is like fried um because there's so much chemicals on your hair and anytime you use any type of chemical on your hair your hair can become damaged it can break off it can become dry and so my thing is you have to take care of your hair your hair needs nutrients your hair needs conditioners your hair needs protein and just a little side note whenever i do go get my hair colored i literally leave with my hair wet um the salon that i go to they know me fun fact i used to work there they know my formula they've known it for like two three years i've been doing the same type of formula the same hair color line on my hair for like two or three years now and my hair has always been okay it's never broken off it's never been like super dry it's never been brittle it's never been like you know fried or anything like that so they know that i like to go home and just use my own products and style it myself and so i'm just going to share with you guys a little bit about what i like to do what works for me what i know my hair needs after i get it colored anytime you use definitely any type of bleach or color on your hair you have to add protein back to your hair because your hair can become very weak as those protein bonds are you know breaking and as you're like lifting your hair and changing the whole natural state of your hair you have to add that protein back and so the best protein treatment that i have found FOG is the best protein treatment i have ever ever used this is also a very intense and very strong protein treatment so i don't suggest using it very often i personally do it like every eight weeks like every two months or so it's a two-step process you can get this from like sally's a beauty supply store probably like walmart and target and things like that this is the first process whenever you're applying your protein this literally says it helps to stop breakage on even badly damaged hair use as desired like i said it's very strong so i don't suggest using it very often and the way that she uses is you just apply it all over your hair when your hair is damp um, and freshly shampooed and then you're just going to apply it all over your hair just a little warning it does sink and it can be very messy so i like to apply it with gloves and then you don't want to like massage it onto your scalp because it can like make your scalp burn a little bit or be a little tingly so you just kind of want to apply it straight to your hair so after it's all over your hair i just like to take it and just blow dry it on a very low setting or you can sit under the dryer whatever is best for you and as you are blow drying it your hair is going to become very very hard and very stiff and very crunchy um and that is how you know the protein is really saturated on your hair when your hair is very very hard and very crunchy so after you do the step one on your hair you're going to move on to step two after you rinse out the actual protein treatment you're going to apply this uh, balancing moisturizer on your hair these two go hand in hand but this makes your hair super super soft like really really soft after the protein treatment has dried on your hair and it makes it really hard this actually balances the ph on your hair and so it kind of just brings everything back to normal brings everything back together and the way that you apply this is like any kind of conditioner you just apply it let it sit for a couple minutes and then just rinse it out nothing to it but this actually smells a whole lot better than the step one so moving on to conditioners i like to do two type of conditioners after i get my hair colored the first one is the aussie three minute miracle moisturizer i love this conditioner first of all this is only like two or three dollars and y'all know if you're a natural girl out there conditioners are so expensive i love this stuff not gonna lie this does have sulfate in it so it's not like 100 percent natural but this 
really has helped my hair whenever it comes to moisturizing. So what I like to do, I use this as a detangler because as soon as you put this on your hair, your hair has a great slip to it. And I usually use this in the shower, but um, you know, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do it. So like I said, I just put a generous amount onto my hands and just literally comb through it. And as you can see, my hair is like super detangled I'm not having any problems getting the comb through my hair and it actually makes your hair super soft and very very moisturized and like I said you can get this anywhere for like three dollars so, so this is like the best drugstore deep conditioner that I've ever used after that is nice and saturated onto my hair I move on and I move on to my deep conditioner my favorite deep conditioner is the Joyco moisture recovery treatment balm this Deep conditioner, I can really tell the difference after I use it on my hair. This is a treatment balm for thick, coarse, dry hair. And I do sit under the dryer with this one. And so I just apply it all over my hair. And after um, it's nice and saturated, I do cover it with a plastic cap or a shower cap. And I sit under the dryer for probably a good 20, 30 minutes. The directions say just leave it on for 3 to 5 minutes. But the heat from the dryer is going to just allow your hair to really absorb all the moisture from this conditioner and so that's why i like to just sit under the dryer and so yeah after i do those three steps to my hair um i just style it as normal if you guys want to see like an updated wash and go i can do that for you not much has changed but my hair is definitely longer um and i've been kind of trying different products and things like that so if you want to see an updated wash and go give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and that's kind of all for this video i do want to add if you want to color your hair in your natural i say go for it do not be scared of color. You don't have to be scared of color. I would definitely just say just get a hair regimen going for yourself and find different treatments that work for you. So yeah, if you guys have any more questions about how to treat, you know, color treated hair, I will definitely be more than glad to answer them. Did I say that right? Just leave me a comment down below if you have any more questions and I'll be glad to answer it. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was short. It was sweet and straight to the point. And uh, on that note, you guys know the drill. I will talk to you guys later in my next video. Bye, guys.